Alright, what is up everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario and the Chaos Islands. Alright, I came back with a cape, and it just makes those blocks do that, so you have to be just big to get across. And I still can't get that heart, man. I don't know, like, what the problem is. Like, like I, I hear the little running sound, but I suppose you have to get it from the other side somehow, which... Okay, that was just dumb. Okay. Wow. I don't care if I lose the cave. I do care if I live, though. I'm, uh, just curious now as to how I would manage to get this thing. Like, I suppose that maybe I could... Oh. Well, that's how. Okay. Well, I just had to float over there. Okay, I don't get why it's leading me... You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I got the heart... You did have to have a cape, so thank God I kept my cape. But you have to have the the boots to get across that. All right, so um, how's everyone's day going? Mine is just going great. I recorded like um six, I think no seven episodes of Resident Evil 4, and I stopped like right before I got to Sadler. In the next video, we're gonna take him out. So, what's up, Morton? I think that's your name, Morty. Mort, M bomb, the M man, the dead man, whatever. But yeah, we'll take out Saddler and do a little jet skiing part in the next section. And then that'll be done and we'll move on to separate ways. I was gonna do some Call of Duty tonight, but I just got like so into Resident Evil 4, I just said screw Call of Duty for the night. I love both games, but Resident Evil 4 is just clearly better in my opinion. Morton Cuba Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the hot volcanic magma dome. What traps away Mario in this new world? What will become Princess Toadstool? Alright, pretty generic Mario message, but that's okay. Alright, so, uh, we're moving on to the next area. That was a funny little pathing thing, but whatever. I like this. Hot Stranded Point. This is pretty neat. Green blocks and red blocks. What the crap? Bricks that come in green and red can only be broken by either cape or fireball. Try shooting red ones and spin cape the green ones. Okay. Whatevs. Can I talk to you? I suppose I cannot get down there to talk to you? Hey, you probably don't have anything good to say anyway. What do you say? They once said that a pipe from the plains leads to the other part of this island which has a castle whom lives a powerful Koopa. Okay, so I'm gonna have to backtrack, aren't I? Ugh. Okay, so we gotta... Where the heck am I supposed to go? The frig... I'm just confused. Okay, right. Are these like planes or like What the okay, I don't even know like this isn't even path, like I can't even go. Move anywhere there. And I'm not seeing any red levels which would indicate secrets, of course, like that could be Okay, that, that's the planes. So there's a pipe in the planes which leads me to... Okay. Hey, let's see, does anyone here have any advice? I'm completely lost. Hey, someone tell me something. Someone tell me where to go. Ah, oh, you don't even say anything, you piece of crap. I'm getting out of here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it said a pipe in the plains would lead me... See, I can't even go anywhere there. Could there be like... Uh, I am just rather confused. 
see, like, once you get here, there's nowhere to go. Do you, do you say any Okay. They once said that a pipe from the plains leads to the other... Okay, how do I progress out of here is my question. Is this the end of the demo? Or is this a demo? Is this the end of the game? Like... I am officially kind of uh, not sure what to do. So I'm going to go and um, I'll be right back. Alright, so apparently um, there's a secret in here. And uh, we've gone over before the fact of why it's bad to make players find secrets to advance. But because there's Geno's Forest music here, it's okay. So I'm not going to rage. But um, I'm still not too keen on the idea of you making me find secrets to advance. That's just, that's just not very good programming in my opinion. That sucked. That was just not very good jumping in my opinion. And I think a lot of people will agree. That was just... That, I'm not even going to dignify that crap in the response. Okay. See, is there a... I gotta keep my eyes like open because there's this thing is gonna be around here somewhere. Oh crap. Dang it. Alright, there's the thing I need to advance. <sighs> Why did you have to do that? Like really? Oh my god, you stupid snake. Okay. I don't know about that monster placement either. This hack has done a couple of questionable things here. No, I can't, okay. Oh man, don't take my feather. I need it to... Stop with the freaking snake thing, okay? It's... Oh, wow. Bad placement there. I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. The blocks ahead are marked W for World's Pass. The number of on them shows at World's... Okay. Well, that's that's kind of okay, because you you had to complete two Worlds to Pass. And there's more Geno's Force music, so I can forgive the bad monster placement there and having make me find secrets, because this is kind of creative. So, you get a pass on this. But seriously, though, no more of those douchebag snakes, please. They're annoying. And a bonus game, which I really don't care anything about. And I'm forced to play it anyway. And I get an extra life. Okay, cool. Hidden Plains area. So, um... This kind of looks somewhat familiar. It just looks very Super Mario World-ish. Which is a Super Mario World hack, technically, even though... A good amount of the sprites have been from Super Mario Bros. 3 and Doki Doki Mario. But anyway, gonna start my marketing thing today. Just found a web hosting plan. It's got like everything I need. Like, infinite domains, and uh, I even get like a toll-free phone number with it for my marketing stuff, so I can really do some great work for these businesses, and hopefully, uh, hopefully make a lot of money. Okay, let's just... Yeah, let's just go all the way back. I didn't really mean to do that, but whatever. Uh-oh. Could this hack be taking a downturn due to bad monster placement? We need some more Geno's Forest music, dude. Your, your bad choices are adding up. But yeah. The, uh... The marketing thing is going to work out pretty nicely, I think. Like, I'm going to have fun doing it, and I'm going to make money, so... You know, and it's one of those things where I can make money, but I won't have to go out and be, like, pissed off every day, because... You know, so many... Oh, my God. So many people, they just work a job that they hate, and they go out, and they're pissed off every day. You know, but those... And people, you know, I don't think anyone wants to 
I don't think anyone, like, likes being pissed off, so... You know, it's funny, though. A lot of the people who go and work jobs daily that, you know, piss them off, make them hate their lives, they're the same people that, um... You know, would probably criticize me if they found out that I was in a position where I would get to work from home and, uh... Just, uh, basically make a website, edit it for a few weeks, and, uh, you know, maybe work on it a few times a, uh, a week, and, you know, add new affiliates and market for new companies, but other than that, just pretty much just sit around and make a crap load of money. So, yeah, it's, that's gonna be fun, but yeah, even if people do criticize, it's like, who cares? I've got, you know, I've, as we go to the pipe, you know, I've, I don't care what people have to say, as we play Hot Snaky Crowns, after I just cried about the snakes. Come on. Oh, maybe he means, like, those fire snakes, which apparently can't be spin-jumped on. But it maketh no difference, because I got a power-up. <laughs> oh man, this lava, like, Fizz and I played, um, like... We played so much Minecraft last night, and like, we, we found, we have been trying to find gold. Like, we started fresh in an attempt to like, show people how to like, do things on Minecraft. And we were like, trying to show people how to find gold and stuff. And, we got to this underground area. I don't know how we got there. Like, the last time, like, I know we had gone, no, I can, I'm not losing the cape to that. I, you can, you're supposed to be able to kill that with a freaking raccoon tail. But, um, yeah, we, we got, like, trapped underground, and in our haste of trying to escape, we, um, well, Fizz got killed, like, freaking, he must have died, I'm, I swear, he must have died, like, four times throughout the entire thing. It was pretty hilarious, <laughs> because, like, we were just trying to show people all this stuff, and, like, show them how to find, um gold and stuff, and, like, we found so much stuff, too, like, there was gold, and there was redstone ore, and, um, like, the blue stone, all, all this great stuff around, and that was dumb. That was even dumber. All this great stuff around, and we, <laughs> we just, like, then, like, we were, I, I have, like, one iron pickaxe left, and, like, there's plenty of iron ore, and, you know, coal and crap down there to make, uh, furnaces and all this crap, but, so I can make the, the iron, with the iron ignot, to get the pickaxes, no problem, to get the iron pickaxe to mine the gold, but the problem is, we don't have that much wood, and some, for some reason, we're still stuck underground, and we can't figure out how to get out. So, it's pretty funny stuff. Uh, oh, Minecraft, how I love thee. Would like to go play some more Minecraft tonight, but I don't know if that'll work, because I gotta wake up early tomorrow, I'm gonna go hang out with a friend, and Gotta work on some music tonight, so uh, that's gonna wrap it up for me. When we come back, we'll play Hot and Fiery Trouble. So thanks for watching. See you next time.